Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. 4K, 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 4K. I talk about it a lot. Lots of people talk about it a lot. It has fast become the de facto standard for video. Whether you're buying a TV, most people now, if you're buying a TV, you're going to get a 4K TV. I don't have one yet, but I've been looking at them and probably will get one very soon. Um, the prices have just come down like crazy. I was just looking at a 55 inch in Costco for. I think it was 497, 55 inch 4K TV. Really nice TV. They had, when I was in there, they had a 49 inch 4K uh, on for 349. They had a, a special, and I think it was regularly 400. But the prices are crazy. They're crazy cheap. So, with that in mind, I was just reading an article here. Um, this was over on DP Review. And this is Magic Lantern brings 4K recording to the Canon EOS 5D Mark III. The 5D Mark IV does 4K, but not very well. It has a very rough, shall we say, codex. It takes a lot of work to work with them. You have to do transcoding. You have to shrink them. Down. Like it's just they're, they're huge files. It's just it's not a very user friendly 4K camera. Does it shoot 4K? Yes. Does it do it well? No. The 5D Mark III is a very capable camera. It was much beloved by many Canon shooters. It does very nice photo work. It's a very good camera for events and for weddings, and a lot of pros have used it. But it was one of the cameras that really furthered the benchmark of the 5D being a hybrid video camera. A lot of people use it for video. A lot of big budget movies, big screen movies were shot with that thing. And that's also been why I think a lot of us felt so left, let down with the Mark IV because it did not carry on the tradition of being such a great camera like the 3 was. So with this in mind, Magic Lantern bringing 4K to the 3, is the 3 a better option for people? If you can get a 5D Mark III used, refurbed, um, even a good price on a new one, is that a better option than the 4? I mean, we're looking at raw 4K video here. So pretty powerful 4K video options. Better than the 5D Mark IV? Maybe. Let's see what it says here. The, it says, DP Review is saying that the build adds the following recording resolutions to the camera. Uh, let's never mind the, um, well, actually, the 1920 by 960, um, one to one crop and full frame, three by three pixel binning. It's not too bad. What is interesting is when we go all the way to the top where we have 4096 by 2560. Um, and then there's a 1440 there as well. Uh, one to one crops um, available at the, the 2560 is at 12.5p. The uh, 4096 by 1440 is at 25p. And it just looks really, really sweet to be able to get that. Um, it also says it brings a full resolution live view mode that shoots 5796 by 3870 at 7.4 frames per second. That could make for some interesting using stills to, to generate video. So some incredible capabilities coming to the 5D Mark III from Magic Lantern. What do you guys think? Does this make the 5D III more interesting to you than the 5D IV? I have to admit, for me, it potentially does. Not enough that I think I'm will, I, I want to go out and invest in the system and buy one. But if I was looking at the two right now as a Canon shooter, I think I'd be more interested in seeing what the 5D3 can do with the Magic Lantern than investing all that money into a 5D4, which doesn't really do 4K that well. But what do you guys think? What do you think of Magic Lantern bringing 4K to the Mark III? Does it make it of interest to you? Does it make it, was it off your scope before? And now it's like, hey, I can get a really capable camera here. And with the Magic Lantern, it could shoot 4K. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in buying it? Do you think this is earth shattering do you think this is interesting do you think it's nothing <laughs> let me know what you think uh i'm just curious to know because I, I think this is very interesting and i think this is very cool that a company like magic lantern can bring after the fact even to an older body potentially maybe better video quality than the new mark IV can do let me know what you think in the comments below let's discuss it thanks for tuning in folks stay tuned we'll be back soon here at out of the